all right hello guys it's mercy and welcome back to another true wireless earbuds review and today i have something special for you guys it is the plexton for life true wireless gaming headsets and um it is another one of those budget earbuds that i love so this is cheaper than the last video aki ep t25 that i reviewed a week ago so this one was um, i bought it for about 25 dollars but this one i bought it for 16 dollars and honestly for 16 dollars i really really like it but first of all let's just take a quick run on the packaging and see what they're claiming so again on the front here you can see plexton lightweight gaming gear here is the color i choose for this three there's uh, the red um galaxy blue and green i think i'm not sure but they look pretty cool in the box for life true wireless gaming headsets and here is the features that they are telling us so low latency half in your fit bluetooth 5.0 and custom sound oh, oh. <laughs> um very bold claim on the low latency and um the custom sorry the custom sound and of course made for gaming on the top here we can see it's half in your fit low latency free play games i don't know what this means and four and a half four point two grams so like we sing aside so what this means is that the individual earbuds is four point two grams on the bottom we got the same claim now on the back here it says the same thing with with more specs for the earbuds itself and here's the charging case and uh yeah i, I think it's a pretty good box for a pretty cheap earbuds <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look at the uh, earbuds itself. But first of all, before we get into the sound quality, let's talk about the design, like I always do. And the Plexon for Life is actually pretty small. Looking a uh, picture through online, they look pretty big. They look bulky, but putting it side by side with the Aki EP T25, they look very small. I love small compact cases. I don't think this is big, but I wish it's a bit more thinner. But with how they arrange the earbuds, I don't think they can do anything. And if you guys can see properly here, if the lighting allows it, there's two different um, tone or like two different finishes for this puppy. So there is a soft touch and a half translucent um, case cover. So what this do is that your LED that you come from the earbud, see it's blinking, will go through the case. And you can see it so that's a pretty cool Christmas but it feels different when it's rolling it around which is not bad and case overview we can see that there's a big for life I wish they just put the logo or even Plexton for life just looks very um I don't know it just doesn't look good for me in my opinion and then on the back very surprising four LED indicators and a micro USB I would complain that it doesn't have type c like the aki or any decent tws's but for the price i can give this a pass again micro usb for 16 dollars isn't bad and when you open the case up it's magnet so uh they don't fall but yeah it claps it's a bit hard to open but when you open it you can find two of your earbuds oops i didn't want to stay but here are the earbuds for the true wireless Plexton for life and as you guys can see let me see if I can make them focus a bit here okay they're not gonna focus sure there we go so the Plexton for life has a unique design and um, a unique color to it the, uh, if you guys recognize this looks like those Sabbaths or KZ KZ earbuds where ergonomically fit on your ear which I think can be comfortable for, for some people but it also uses half in your I wish they would make like a for life pro or something and give us true in ears because i think that's more superior to half in ear half in ear isn't comfortable for me i can only use this for like two hour max but going through the physical overview they look very cool but they feel cheap and i guess like 4.2 grams they feel light in on that they feel really really light it's it feels like nothing it feels really cheap but well, and we got an LED indicator here, um, here with Plexton's logo and a physical button. I don't mind this physical button at all because it doesn't take me a lot of force to press. It's very, very short and light and light. Oh, wow. My voice has changed. So it doesn't feel that bad to actually use. It's just that it hurts after like a few hours. And I think that's 
um, up to the individuals. I just cannot wear this properly. Now, the case has a bit of a problem for me. I'm just going to be honest here. There's a um, cutout there for the button to sit flushly. But when I got this uh, for the first week, I think for the first few days, you can just drop it in, right? And see, it's charging and again, see through. But something with my right earbuds, it just doesn't want to charge. And now, now it's easier, like focus. Now it's much more easy to just bloop, drop it and charge. But back then it was so hard. If I drop it, I need to like wiggle it a bit for it to charge. But yeah, it, it just disappeared after like a few days of use. And yeah, and I contacted Plexton about this. I was like, why is it working like this? And they quickly asked me if I still have the problem. And you know, when they when they respond, it, it's fine. So I don't think you should be worried about that. But that is just something that I've been working with. And another thing is the uh, indicator so what i find weird is that um i yes i've used it for one month but i don't use it often because you know, i have this and an airpods so I'm not focusing i have uh the aki and an airpods for me to use so i don't really use it as much daily but i still use it long enough for me to give my opinion and every time i just you know uh have fun around just taking this out putting it back in and all of that like just ooh, ooh, uh, take it out, put it back in, you know, like uh, do this around <laughs> and just put it back in. It The charging indicator actually goes down and I don't know why. I Again, I don't use it uh, that often anymore. And even without turning it on or anything, not, not paired, not listen to me, just do it like this and then just put it back onto the case. It will drain the battery. I don't know why this is a problem. It's very, very weird. But that's the only cons I have with this. Oh, and another cons that I have is connection issues. So it states Bluetooth 5.0. Come on. So there we go. It states Bluetooth 5.0. But I have frequent dropouts issue actually. Uh, if they are just a little bit further away from my phones, I just couldn't get it to. Um, like it, the connection isn't stable and that's weird because again this is bluetooth 5.0 and a lot of my fake airpods also have quote-unquote bluetooth 5.0 but they work better than this sometimes so connection issue might be very for some but i haven't had the best but they're not they're not worse it's just that i prefer to walk you know with the case and my phone here and just bring my earbuds somewhere but i don't think you can do that with this um, earbuds okay so now let's talk about the sound quality and honestly, for half in years, you know how much, like you guys know how much I don't like half in years. I have an AirPods, fake AirPods, because I don't want to buy a, a real AirPods myself. But, excuse me, I hate half in years because they're not comfortable for me and they don't isolate sound. And because of the half in year nature, they don't seal properly, which means bass is you know affected and that's like the easiest way for me to explain how this sounds like they're good but if you expect punchy bass oops <laughs> if you expect punchy bass this is one of that i think the sound is pretty balanced with like the highs being a little bit teeny but overall it, like the bass is that it's just it's not enough i i think for this to sound good in my opinion they need a little bit more of a punchy bass but i think it's just the limitation of half in years in general but overall i think the sound quality is decent the connectivity is, is decent and the battery life um so they claim in the box they have a 30 day 30 day standby time and four six time charging case so that like, you can charge your text in four to six times and i can only use the earbuds for four and a half hours and i can charge it three times with the case that's my um my experience maybe because i use my earbuds at 100 percent volume all the time but again that may be very but that's my um my conclusion on the battery life connectivity is again is kind of disappointing with these but i think overall it will be fine to the last 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 point i want to bring so in the box they claim that this is a wireless gaming headset made for gaming low latency they are advertising this as gaming you go to the um website or you go to any shopping website that has this listed they advertise 80 millisecond and <coughs> excuse me 
and you know i i still couldn't do like a latency test or anything like that because i don't have the equipment for it yet but but i can 100 percent tell you guys that these are not 80 percent this is not uh, low latency or anything i have low latency earbuds i have an airpods connected to an iphone that's low latency this is latency not dream or anything it, it's very laggy there's obvious delay watching youtube or netflix for me has been gorgeous no delays there but playing games pubg and i've played a lot of rhythm games so i'm just gonna say on rhythm games it sucks it, it it's very laggy i miss a lot of notes for it so yeah, don't get this for gaming. If, if you want this for low latency, then I'm sorry to disappoint, but this is not a low latency earbuds. But everything else about this for $16. Again, I'm just going to keep like say, say the price here for 16 bucks. There's really nothing much I can complain here except for the, you know, marketing of low latency. Now, let's go to the last thing I want to be I want to go through before I forgot. It is the buttons control. So, uh, out of the box, when you turn them on, so it, it doesn't work like the Aki where you can just open it and it really turns on and all, continue pairing. It works a little bit annoying because when you take them off, right, you take them off, you need to hold it. So, let me see. There we go, the lights turn on. Now it's on pairing mode. And um, it's really annoying. Oops. Because... I'm so used to just taking them off and wearing them immediately after pair and all, but it's it's just a little bit tiny step you need to do. But when I've used it for like a week, putting them on my ear and immediately pressing the button has been a muscle memory. So there's that. And now let's go to the buttons. So I honestly don't think this is a bad button at all. But uh, so play pause is single tap double here is next double here is previous and triple tab is volume man that's annoying <laughs> i hate changing my volume on these it's, it's just that you need to triple tap on this one to volume up triple tap here to volume down it, it's it's very annoying so button is good but i think the volume could be like a holder or something but the, i i think they, they don't want it to be like turning off and all so yeah that's just a little bit of a annoyances that i find out but overall i would give this a solid rating like it, it's very close to the aki but aki is like a different league on its own but for 16 bucks if you like the design of the case or if you like how the earbuds looks like you know this funky color is not focusing at this this funky color setup here i don't think anyone would hate this this is a very good earbuds so yeah the old, like uh, micro usb please i hate that so that's my review. Uh, I I tried. I, I use it for a month, but I don't like it. But I know a lot of people will. The half in you just kind of set this off for me. But yeah, overall pretty decent. I'll recommend this if you guys like the design, like the earbuds, because the sound quality. I don't think anyone will complain about it, especially at this price. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys do, leave a like, um, subscribe, guys, uh, enjoy my content, and uh, leave a comment. Ask me any questions. I will probably answer them in as quick as i can if i'm like if i'm free so hope you guys enjoy this house you guys the next one goodbye my friends and how we like to wake up in slow motion think about the things we never do